Hi, Al Williams here. I wanted to show you a little bit about how to work with images for the Pico badge. So I've got an image here. I've already cropped it to 240 by 240 pixels and it looks good to go except I still need to do a few things before I do the export. So I need to take off any transparency. Now it turns out the image doesn't have any transparency but it doesn't matter. I still have to somehow tell it there is no transparency. You could right click on this layer or you can also go to the layer menu and on transparency say remove alpha channel and that will take that off. And that's important to get it to export correctly. So I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to say export as and I'm going to tell it I want to export it to pcb.c. You could use an H file here but there's some subtle differences and so I'm going to go ahead and do it as a C file and then I'll rename it later just because I wanted it to be an H file. So the name here doesn't really matter. I'm probably going to change it anyway, but you can put whatever you want. You do want to make sure that the GWIB types is off. The use macros instead of struct is on. You do not want run length encoding, although you might be able to use it, but it's harder. There's no alpha channel, so you don't need to worry about that. And you do want to save it in the RGB 565 format, which is 5 bits of red, 5 bits of green, or 6 bits of green, rather, and 5 bits of blue. So we're going to hit export, and then that's it. Uh, you'll have to open that file, which I will show you here in a second, and make a few subtle changes to it. But if you get this far, you've got the image, and you've got it as a C file, and then you just have to kind of make it compatible with the build for Pico Badge. So here we are in the C source file. You can see it's dumped from PCB.C. If this were to say GIMP RGBA, then you forgot to turn off the transparency and you probably should. So like I said, most of this stuff you probably don't care. And I usually rename the file to be an H file too, by the way. And you can export it as an H file, but then it does different things. So I've gotten in the habit of just doing it from a C file. It, you could do it from an H file as well but I generally just rename it. So I'm going to kill all this stuff because I don't want any of this. I don't want it to be static and I don't need it to be unsigned and I need it to be a character pointer. And since I don't want it to eat up a lot of RAM memory, I'm going to put the progmem identifier there and then I've got to kill that parentheses, go to the end and kill that parentheses. And now when I make that file into PCB.h, or I could just leave it as PCB.c and include it, I'll be able to use that image in the badge. So hopefully that helps. This is Emacs, but of course you can use any text editor that can open a relatively large file. Uh, these are big, big files. So anyway, hope that helps you, and thanks for watching.